Hey guys, uh, this is what we're doing next. Um, I'm sorry I've been out of commission for like the last week because mostly uh, I got sick and then I was frantically looking for a game to reinstall. This was it, and then I'm like, oh wait, I haven't out let's played this, and then I decided not. To I decided to wait until I I felt better. So uh, it's a Star Trek game, so we're gonna play on difficult because I'm such a baller and male. Let's go. On Stardate 48315.6, the USS Voyager was transported beyond our control, 70,000 light years across the galaxy to the Delta Quadrant. There, without aid from Starfleet, we began our 70 year journey home. In our numerous encounters, we came into contact with many dangerous and violent species. Having a limited crew with no chance of reinforcements, we determined that we needed a specialized team to handle the more dangerous situations. Chuvak, Voyager's chief of security, assembled an elite force of security personnel named the Hazard Team. Ensign Monroe is second in command of this uniquely trained team. Equipped with Seven of Nine's experimental anti Borg weapon, the Infinity Modulator, the Hazard Team has beamed to a Borg cube on a dangerous mission. However, the team was quickly overwhelmed, and the IMOD is now in the hands of the Borg. Separated from the rest, Monroe is attempting to rescue the team. <coughs> Monroe tends to uh, get um, separated a lot. That's who I am. Ensign, Ensign Monroe. And I'm a red shirt, so that's not a good sign. Monroe to Tuvok. I've been cut off from the rest of the hazard team. I don't know where they are. Mr. Monroe. We have isolated your team members' life signs. They appear to be trapped in the tertiary power modulation chamber. Rescue them at any cost. Acknowledged. The tertiary what? Oh, that's what I was just about to say. <laughs> tertiary what? Alright, well, uh, it gives you some advice, which is, um... Ensign, yeah. I have uploaded your mission objectives and tactical <clears throat> information. Review it now before proceeding. Do you know anything about Borg? Uh, they adapt your weapons? And, uh, you should stay the hell away from them. So, you kill these little nose fingers, and then they get disabled for some reason. Not exactly something from the show, but... Eh, whatever. You're ugly, man. But you keep, you keep just going around and destroying them. So this is actually a really, really, really good game. Um, it did really well, actually. Um, Amazingly well. Uh, it sold a lot, and uh, was one of the best games in the year it was released, which was like 2001 or something. I, I don't remember. Um, where do we go from here? Oh. Hi. Alright, well, let's just top down. I like the game, mostly for its interactivity. Hey, look, it's the iMod. I mod make sure they can't adapt to their weapons. Also, this gun, the secondary mode, is the sniper mode. <laughs> this is my favorite character. Thanks, Monroe. Let's go. <laughs> He's the best one. He's that beastman. Rick, Monroe, what? <laughs> the best character ever. Might as well kill them. They won't. They won't adapt to this. Thanks, Monroe. I'll get Odell back to the ship. I thought, they, I thought you were all captured. You liars. So we just kill stuff. The thing I actually like is if you press escape, um, they actually explain a transporter buffer. This is where you keep all your weapons. Like you know how you know how the, the running joke is. Like you know the Doom character. They have. Uh, uh, a, a million weapons, and they carry them all at the same time. Well, they explain it here by saying you actually have uh, a transporter buffer, or whatever the hell that is. Uh, I guess it you beam weapons to you or something. So that's that's kind of how it works. I'm not much of a uh, too much of a trek nerd, but uh, I know my transporters and whatever the devices are. Although I, I treat nothing more as science fiction. I don't, I'm not like I don't crazed into this stuff. Must have a special power source. Good point. Okay. 
Not coming with me. Uh, I'd come with you if I had an eye mod, but uh, let's say I stay here and hold down. Yeah, like there's anything there. I, li I like the red things. <laughs> it, it gives them away. Alright. Hey Monroe, if you're not back in five minutes, I'm not going in after you. <laughs> <laughs> He's my favorite character. He's the best. And that was the power source. Hey, the force field's down. What the <laughs> Some board just beamed in and they're Well then you probably should have come with came with me. Because you don't have the eye mod. It's a really, really easy first mission. It's just like shooting gallery, because they, they don't have any ranged attack that Borg don't normally do. And uh, by the way, this loading screen would normally take like 30 seconds, I think, when the game came out. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> really fast computer equals uh, really fast loading screen. And they're just gonna all come to life. They're W must wanting me. Yeah, I got this game. Oh shit. No! Oh my god, I took way too much. Look at this. <laughs> I made a lot of friends, as you can see. I thought I could just go and get it really quickly, so uh, I, I'm gonna just go back here. I remember, I only remember that. Um, I only made it past this one level. Uh, and then I'm like, yeah, I have to do this. Try and conserve ammo. The explosive thing is nice, though. They always come behind you very predictably, so. Uh, the one thing I don't like, uh, the elevators are a little finicky. You gotta like, wait on them, and then it's like, oh, let's go check to see if it's- oh, wait, no, it went. This guy's a jerk. This is scripted. They were going so slow, and I was right here. Sir, I was hit. The board took the team. We're there. out, Chang. Yeah, all you did a compromise the mission, dumbass. Get out of here. If it wasn't for you, I'd still have a bridge. So I gotta do some quick saving and now I gotta fly up here. I gotta grow wings. Whee. This is a Borg elevator thing. Yeah, Borg elevators are very strange. Hi. <laughs> no, don't hit me. I'm your friend. Alright, oh, let's go down. Might as well kill him. Alright. Oh! Oh, they came behind me. Oh, that's, that's, that's dirty. Ah, I'm gonna block the ammo. Are you kidding me? I'm running out of health here. Alright, come on, elevator switch. There we go. And up. There we go. But yeah, I played this with, I played the crap out of this when this came out. This, this is such a good game. No? No one else? There we go. Oh, porgies. Stop beaming in, god damn it. There's so many of them. Why do they just all come at once? That's what the board do, don't they? Not to beam in slowly so I have a chance. Uh, I gotta wait for this to go down. It's a makeshift gel later. <laughs> but yeah, I could talk uh, on end about this game. I, the multiplayer was so good. Uh, single player is really good in my opinion. Beam in. Nope. Surprise. Oh, okay, well, let's just hop down here.
Oh wait. He's a hazard. See if you can locate the control console for the force field. See, he's a red shirt. <laughs> Good job, Monroe. You killed everyone. I told you. Well, what was I supposed to do? <laughs> I like how he gets angry. <laughs> Mr. Monroe, your tactical approach was, shall we say, tactless. Yeah, good going, Monroe. All right. Hazard team, report to debriefing. Nice going, Monroe. <laughs> See, he's my favorite character. <laughs> he's, how, he's how I would be in this situation. He takes the words out of my mouth all the time. Sir, if I may. How was I supposed to know the panel would explode? That point is not relevant, Mr. Monroe. A given situation is not as predictable as you might desire. Your reckless decision has caused the death of you and your teammates. You have failed. Dun dun dun. Well, good job, Monroe. Had you followed standard hazard team procedures, you may have survived the simulation and achieved your mission objectives. Yes, sir. Procedure. <laughs> Speak freely, Ensign. Deck four. With all due respect, sir, I don't think procedure would have mattered. There wasn't any way I could have possibly rescued them. Someday, Mr. Monroe, you may be called upon to do the impossible. Consider this to be your personal Kobayashi Maru. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. Computer, reroute turbo lift to the bridge. And now the story picks up. They don't respond to hails. Maybe we need to send a clearer message. Target their weapon systems and disable them. Firing phasers. Direct hit. Phasers had no discernible effect. Half shields are down, Captain. Rerouting auxiliary power to the shields. Let's just stand there, do nothing. Captain, I'm getting reports of extensive damage on decks 9 and 10. We're not going to survive another hit. Photon torpedoes, full spray. Torpedoes away. Well, thank God we destroyed it. Oh wait, no. Well, that was unexpected. from normal space. I think we've been pulled through some sort of isodimensional rift. Where are we? Apparently, here, Captain. Sensors and most of Voyager's primary systems are offline. Until repairs are made, it may be difficult to ascertain exactly where here is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just watch the beginning. I'll just, uh, kind of talk over it. Is that this is not the music, is it? No, they added their own weird music. And this is actually taken directly from the TV show, so good job. Well like the the, the video is. Not the not the music. The music is some stock foot like stock music or something. I don't even know. Anyways, just to talk a bit about this, um there was there's been two games of this. Um uh, the first one, as I said, did really well. Uh, considered one of the best games of, uh, as I said, 2001, I think. Uh, the second game came out, um, 
you know, I I'll talk about that just briefly, about my little qualm. This is back when I, I like, Steam wasn't around, really. Um, <clears throat> I actually went to GameStop or something to buy this, and this is, by the way, launch week. Um, I see, uh, this was a, like a, the second game I bought. Uh, was the, it was a, like I bought for both games, but I bought the sequel. Went to go buy the sequel, and this is by the way like it you know it's a, a highly anticipated sequel technically. I had to ask them to go into the back to get me a copy because they wouldn't put it at the front. Uh, and you know just think of something, think of them doing that with like Halo Two or Halo Three. You have to go and ask them, and they go into the back to get a copy of it. It's it's unheard of. Uh, and they. <laughs> Like they sold a lot of copies for the first one, so why would they? Why would they start hiding PC games? I don't know. Um, this is the main complaint. This is why Steam became so popular now. Uh, GameStop is complaining. I just thought I'd get that little story out there. Captain's log: Stardate five three eight five four point seven. Voyager was attacked by an unknown force and transported to some kind of starship graveyard, whereabouts unknown. The ship is heavily damaged. Communications, propulsion, and other systems are offline. Until repairs are done, we're utterly helpless. Stranded. Let's get this ship back together, Chakotay. Get damage control online. A709. Gary, find out what you Seven. can about those State your request. exactly oh. where we are. Hi, Captain. Oh. Captain, there's a containment leak in engineering. If we can't get it sealed, we're going to have a warp core breach. Edson Monroe, you're wearing a hazard suit. Get down to engineering and help Balana seal that leak. Hi, Edson. Edson. Thermolift controls malfunctioning. We've never seen Initiate before. vocal command using manual inter Deck 11, engineering. Captain, we're drifting. Attempting to Yeah, so they're, they're doing their own thing thruster. over there. Alright. Let's do this. Hi. Oh. Well. No, the doors will open. Sir, here's the damage control progress for the aft side of the deck. Good. Who's fixing rubble, the rubble, rubble. Here. Showers and chill. They're all just talking there. Garrett, can you give me a hand with this plasma? Ah! Hit that panel and bring up a containment field. So you have like three choices in this situation. I chose to save him because I'm I'm the nice guy. That was close. Where were you heading? I need to take a turbo lift to engineering. Well, the aft turbo lifts were the only ones working on this deck, but they're behind the containment. Field. You you can you can actually turn it on before it gets across. Like the thing I like about this the game is the the freedom. I, I, I think there's an override somewhere on this deck, but I'm not sure where. I, I really like the freedom because it's just like you could kill him if you want to. <laughs> uh, or you could like just let the ship blow up. You know that's that's cool too. Um, this is probably the override. Oh, never mind. That's not the override. Well, it is. You just have to go up here. So it's got, it's got a couple puzzles like this. Kind of like a little bit of inspiration. So like, I don't know, Half-Life. And we turn that crap off. Okay, let's get back over there. Because I'm supposed to go to engineering. Uh, hey, you can just turn it back on. <laughs> I don't know why you would. Right. Hey Monroe, looks like the explosion took out these two aft turbulence. Jeffrey's tubes are the only way down now. I was trying to clear the debris from this one when the EPS conduits overloaded. Great. Well, the starboard side should be fine. This one's gonna take me all day to fix now. Almost out of clear too. Almost like all day, really? Jeez. Voyager's a bit of a mess. Sorry, Monroe. The data shunt's been severed here. Everything down this way is shut off. Hey, we're getting a power surge here. Monroe, quick! Get that panel and shut off this relay! There we go. That was close. You could also get him killed, uh, if you decide not to do that. Um, it doesn't really impact the story in any way, like they're not important characters. Hi. Okay, let's go down. <clears throat> they're not important characters, but it's just kind of fun to have that choice. Alright, and our objective is now to get to engineering. Yep, there's a lot of green goo here. Uh, not sure what it does. Probably better we don't touch it. And it's all going away. 
Alright. Apparently I fell at it, though, <laughs> despite the fact it was gone. Monroe, what took you so long? We've got a warp core breach in progress. You need to get in there and shut it down. There are two things you have to do, so listen carefully. First, cut the power relays on the main floor. Then go to the upper level and decouple the dilithium matrix. Wait a minute. You're going to need a helmet to get through that coolant. I've got one in my transporter buffer. Hurry up and find those terminals. There isn't much time before we lose containment and have to reject the core. Okay, then. Hurry, Monroe. I'm not sure how much time you've got left. Attention. Warp core access denied. Monroe, I just remembered. You're displaying yeah, I got it. Access. Access I know how to do this. Have been cut. <laughs> Dilithium matrix decoupled. <laughs> That's all you do. <laughs> Warp core offline. Core breach averted. Good job, Ensign. That was touch and go there for a little while. No problem, Lieutenant. Yeah, touch and go. Okay, I just ran right through, through it. Seal that watch lift. Watch you need to get main power back online. Oh, watch it. I just saved your ass. All security and hazard team personnel to the loading dock. Where do I go? Get there. I guess this way. <clears throat> so there's a little bit of a security alert. Oh, I guess this is it. I thought I thought all the old elevators were loading dock. Apparently not. <laughs> and I can still you still hear the engineer barking orders. Here, Monroe, take it. Come on. Why, thank you. If you need medical attention, just come back here. My second favorite Monroe, character. Over here. He's actually from the show. We're invaded by some kind of pirates. We're taking our supplies. We have to stop them. There are two of them behind the barricade in there. They're launching energy grenades. See if you can eliminate them. Ready? See if I can eliminate them. So I get a little laser thing. This is your basic weapon, unlimited ammo. And uh, on the ground you can see compression rifles. So sniper mode. You get, literally your first weapon is a sniper. But uh, the thing is they keep coming in, so it's kind of a waste of ammo. The AI is just so good. I should probably not get myself killed. Yeah, it's just uh, really, really easy right now. Okay, let's uh, run back to the doctor. Hey, Doc. I, I can probably just shoot them from here while I get healed. <laughs> get behind me, doctor. <laughs> I don't know. It's yeah, it's got a lot of personality. Again, it's a lot of fun. And I have one of their scavenger rifles. Dick around and that's the secondary part on that one. The giant energy thing. Use a different kind of ammo, so I won't be able to get more ammo unless I pick it up. I have a limited ammo, so I might as well. Two lock to Foster. Just we are pinned down in cargo bay one. We require your immediate assistance. No, I'm not coming with you. I'm pretty sure if you delay him too much, he'll like uh, he'll start firing on you because you're not you're not following orders. They do stuff like that. Uh, they don't they don't like you can shoot them if you really want to. Alright. Yeah, they're gonna do their own thing here. I like how they have no fingers. That's the best part. It's because the game is just so old. Oh, he, he, they killed themselves. Oh, there's so many of them. You can just see them in the corner there. I don't, I don't really want to jump down because then I lose my only source of healing. Unless she heals you. 
Oh, yeah, she heals you. That just like stayed beside her. It looks too bad. Too bad's pretty. Too bad's pretty baller too. Give me some more. Oh, there's one guy up there. <laughs> some guy just teleports right into this place. <laughs> oh man. So and I can just I can actually just be a total idiot and just like run right into them. Heal me. Okay, going back. Another one goes right into this place. Give me some more. <laughs> this is kind of fun. So they, they, their spawn points are very clearly defined. Kill me. Thank you. Oh. I'm running out of ammo, so I gotta kind of be careful with this. So I could just like hang out up there and not do anything. But, you know, that's no fun. They're on the run. We did it. Yeah! <laughs> like how he just walks in like a he's like a knight or something from chess. Two box of bridge. <laughs> the intruders have been repelled. Well done. It seems our situation is worse than we thought, Tuvok. Report to the conference room. Acknowledged. Lieutenant Foster, have the team report to hazard operations. Dear God, no. I am certain that many of you are curious as to our situation. Voyager has been transported to a region of space we are not familiar with. It seems that many other disabled vessels are present here as well. We have detected an energy dampening field surrounding the area that is draining Voyager's systems of power. For the moment, we are trapped like the other ships and cannot escape. Like the Tarkanus gravity will. 247 ships have been lost there. Or the Bermuda Triangle. You know, back on Earth. Perhaps. Our primary weapons and propulsion systems are offline at the moment. The captain's current strategy is to find out as much as we can about our surroundings while we affect repairs. So, what's the deal with our unwelcome visitors? We do not have much information about them as of yet, Mr. Beesman. They appear to be scavengers of some sort, comprised of Klingons, humans, and Malons. With only short-range sensors operational, we have been unable to locate their vessel since it departed. However, we have detected a vessel nearby. While sensors indicate no life signs, we have detected a functioning power source on board. Our hope is that their computer systems are still operational and contain information about this area. The hazard team will transport onto this vessel and retrieve any files that are still intact. No life signs? Like a ghost ship. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> While your superstitious beliefs are quite illogical, Mr. Chell, caution is recommended. Your team leader, Lieutenant Foster, will now brief you on your specific mission objectives. Lieutenant? All right. This is an information gathering mission. Minimal encounter probability. The hazard team will split up into two squads. Alpha Squad, my group, will beam into Control Room A. Ensign Monroe and Beta Squad will be transported to Control Room B. Our objective is to have at least one of the teams locate a functioning terminal to extract any information we can and return to Voyager. In the unlikely case of hostile encounters, the technicians should be protected at all costs to ensure retrieval of this information. Any questions? Sounds like a cakewalk. See the quartermaster, Oviedo, in the equipment room. Gear up, then report to transporter room one. Dismissed. <laughs> well, that's our mission. Um, I'm going to call it up here, so uh, see you guys next time. Bye.